Welcome to my channel. Today we are reviewing Aborted's brand new album, Mania Cult. That's right. Now, I decided to do some weekly album reviews again. I really did enjoy reviewing Iron Maiden's brand new album, Sujitsu, and I thought I'd come back on and give you my thoughts on what I thought about Aborted's brand new album, Mania Cult. Now, in case you don't know, I am a fan of Aborted, and I really do enjoy their stuff. I recently got into him before Mania Cult was released. I actually did an album ranking for him uh, before Mania Cult was released, and on that same day when I released Aborted's album ranking, they announced their brand new album Mania Cult, which I was pretty pissed because I didn't actually include that in my album ranking. So today I'm going to give you an album ranking again for Aborted, but also talk about their brand new album Mania Cult. So we're going to have the review first, and then we're going to do an album ranking. We're going to do a quick album ranking redux for Aborted. So let's talk about the overall production on this album. The overall production production on Mania Cult is absolutely fantastic, it's intricate, it's potent, and you can hear every single detailed by the instruments. It's very atmospheric, this album, and there are a lot of blackened melodies, especially through songs like Mania Cult and Drag Me To Hell. Drag Me To Hell some sounds like something out of Shadow of Intent. There are some interesting melodies that do get stuck in your head, like you got Ceremonial Inipitude, which has an infectious fucking chorus. You just feel like singing, KILL! Obey! Sort of a melodic aborted album as well, as there are some great riffages, some great chugginess, and the drumming is absolutely insane. I think the lineup is the same as Terrorvision. We have Sven, who is on vocals. Sven's vocals are absolutely fantastic on this. He incorporates more black metal vocals on this album that really, really send a shiver down your spine. The drums are absolutely insane, and the guitar work is magnificent as well, with some very infectious sort of riffages, and not to mention some great guitar solos. This is a very fast-paced album as well, but there are some slow elements, like take instance of Drag Me To Hell, which is a slow crescendo song that builds up to the heaviness parts of the album and really slows down to the slowest parts of the album. So track by track, we, leave, we lead on to Verdif. Verdif is a great introduction to the album, something I've never really heard by Aborted with some symphonic elements, quite epic majestic vibes that build up to some aggressive, demonic, monstrous vocals by Sven. And I just love the really slow build up. Very, it just reminds me of something out of like Behemoth, Love You At Your Darkness, where it, it just builds up and builds up. It just, Verdif really reminds me of the intro of I Love You At Your Darkness. It does, <laughs> it does. But yeah, it leads on to an absolutely batshit crazy song called Mania Cult. Vocals are insane, deep and guttural. The riffage is quite infectious in tone and some really great fast riffing and solos. The drumming is spectacular with some bombastic blast beats that really echo throughout your head. And it's a great way to kick off the album. Leads on to Impidus. Odie. Impetus Odie is just a really good song overall. It's got such a fucking infectious hook that, that the vocal melody is the vocal melody is just whoa. It, it quite sing alongable. You can hum to the vocal melody, which I absolutely love. The guitar is absolutely brutal in tone. Incorporate more of those blackened metal elements, especially the vocals, and also those death metal elements as well. Leads on the Portal Vacuity is just a really good song overall. I just feel that it's an okay song, but in my opinion, listening to this song, I don't really remember much from it because it just sounds like they repeat the same old repetitive riffs on this. The ch there's a lot of chugginess on this song. But yeah, it's an okay song, but it's one of the weakest. Leads on to Dementophobia. This is such a fucking great song overall. The riffs on this are really incredible fast-paced moments as well, and some absolutely batshit crazy solos. The vocals are aggressive and harsh, but it's a really interesting way to keep the listener's attention. Dementophobia is one of my favorites off the album. Leads on to Volga Quagmire. Volga Quagmire, very interesting song overall. It's a bit of a slow paced song, but there are some faster moments which I really do enjoy. Great riffs, great drumming, and the vocals are insane. Leads on to the instrumental Volgan. This is a really good build up to the most melodic, catchiest song, Ceremony in Neptune. And then Ceremony in Neptune is definitely one of my favorite songs off the album, along with Dementophobia and Drag Me to Hell. It's just the overall chorus. The chorus is so damn catchy. You just feel like you want to sing, kill, obey. 
with Sven, just fantastic song overall, love the riffs on this, really enjoyed the black death metal elements on this, leads on to drag me to hell, like I said, really nice growing crescendo to build up to the heaviness, which I really do enjoy, it creates this atmosphere, at times you question whether this is aborted or not, because this is a very different sort of sound by aborted as well, but Dragman How really works with the overall environmental nature on this, Dragman How is a very good song, like I said, it does sound like something out of like mental cruelty, shadow of intent, like sort of that, those elements with some aggressive breakdowns on this, and there are some really intense uh, guitar moments. Grotesque is next. Grotesque is a fun. Grotesque is just a simple aborted song. Great song overall, but leads on to um, Ipridility, the Folly of the Gods, which is a another slow growing crescendo song. I love the intro of it. The drum fills on the intro is absolutely fantastic and it just builds up to such a really heavy way to end off the album. There's some really enjoyable guitar solos on this. I really love how prominent the bass is on this album, and like the production on this particular song is immense, and it's quite epic, and it's big, and it's just, this album is just full with fucking sound. Overall, this is a really good aborted album, and it, it, yeah, so it would be one of my favorite death metal albums, but they do play around with the genres, like there are some black and grind on this, some black and death metal, and also there's death metal as well, with Sven's aggressive, harsh vocals that really resonate. Ooh, those vocals are really, really interesting overall. He's one of the best death metal vocalists. Just an intense album. It is one of their heaviest, it is one of their heaviest. Definitely up there to the heaviness of Global Flatline, and even Engineering the Dead like this is definitely one of my favorite aborted albums and my first initial listen listen to it again a few more times and yeah there are some beautiful intricacy moments but yeah I feel like this is one of the best producing albums by aborted so without further ado let's get on with the album ranking so coming out last is strict 9.213 surprise surprise this is an fucking terrible album, it really is. The Try and Conjuries is probably the best song off the album, Avarice of Villa Location. The reason why I don't really like this album is because of the over repetitiveness of the riffs, and it just, they feel like, oh yeah, this album sucks. It sucks big time, and this is one of the worst fucking aborted albums that I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, Strict 9.213 can get in the fucking bin. Next up is Slaughter and Apparatus and Methodical Overture. This is a better album by Aborted, it's more melodic, you could say. There are some really intense moments, like I love the song Archetype, Odious Emanation, and Underneath Forever and Soil, just really interesting. But the Cron 9 Enigma is a great way to kick off the album. A hell of a lot better than Strict 9.213, but pretty good album, but it's second last, and this is how consistent our borders are. Next up is the Archaic Abattoir. This is sort of a melodic death metal album by a board. They really did experiment throughout this album. Some great solos as well. Dead Reckoning, Blood Fixing the Bled, The Inertia. Got songs like Threading on Vermilion Deception. Really fun LP, and yeah, I just I love the fucking album cover. Border's always got the a Border has the best fucking album covers in metal, in my opinion, and this is no exception. Love a cake abattoir. Next up is the Purity of Perversion, a photo of a mutilated human. I've, this might be a real human, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, this is their debut album. Great songs like Act Supremacy, the riff on Sanctivation of Fornication is To Die For, Highway 135, and Wench Carnal Ornaments. Just, it was a really intense, brutal album. Sven's vocals are just absolutely insane on this, very brutal and guttural. He doesn't incorporate any higher vocals on this. Purity of Perversion sits here. Next up is Terror Vision, and my god, that artwork is amazing. This is a very different sounding album by Aborted. Of course, there are some sounds from Mania Cult on this album. Great songs like Terror Vision, Vespertine Decay, one of the longest songs off the album, one of the longest songs by Aborted, six minutes, Deep Red, songs like Exquisite Coinivus Drama, and the final absolution. Really interesting album overall, some great guitar technical elements, and the drumming is absolutely insane, and I just feel it's one of the best. Next up is Necrotic, the Necrotic Manifesto. This is a very good album overall. Again, the artwork is absolutely fucking fantastic. We've got Tentacle Monster Man again, holding guns, holding weapons, ready to slaughter anyone in its way. Great songs like Necrotic Manifesto, The Davidian Deceit, Excremental Veracity 
of dead skin and decay, and of course, Chena Bites, one of the best <laughs> fucking closes by Aborted. Just a really intense album overall. Really love it. It's definitely one of the heaviest. Next up is the new album, Mania Cult. Mania Cult, so damn good. I love it. It's definitely in. It's definitely all Aborted sounds into one. Some brutal death metal, black and grind, black death metal, black and death metal, and also there's death metal at times. Like I said, Port of the Vacuity is one of the weakest songs off the album. Got. But the rest, the Mendophobia, um, Ceremonial Neptitude, and Drag Me to Hell are just really great songs, great aborted songs, and I love it. The artwork's amazing as well. Tentacle Monster Man, again, just in a forest or something, in a ritual, you could say, but holy shit, this is a fantastic, fantastic album cover, a fantastic album overall. So yeah, many occult aborted sits here. Next up is Global Flatline, one of my favorites by Aborted, and yeah, love the album cover as well. Very dark, very atmospheric. Just one of the atmospheric aborted albums. Great songs like the Kalinga Theory. Uh, and still a great, oh, this is an epic song to end off the album. Then you got Global Flatline, The Origin of Disease, Co Coroni of Reconstruction. Great solos on this, great drumming, and just overall, his vocals are insane on this. This is his best vocal to performance, in my opinion. Next up is the Crazy Surgery Man, Gormageddon, The Sword and Carnage Undone. Great songs overall. Love the self titled track, Ornaments of Derision, Charted Carnal Effigy, and Nemesis to end up the album. So damn brutal, this album. This album is fucking brutal as anything it's intense love the guitar work but yeah this is brutal death metal album with just so many surprises along the way next up is retro gore this is my second favorite aborted album it's for a reason the goddamn song cavernous banquet hormageddon fucking bit by bit from beyond the grave and then avernus what an amazing song in avernus is and the actual album cover is one of the best album covers I have seen. He is showing his true self in the mirror and he finally realizes who he is. Just an insane album overall. Definitely one of the most heaviest albums by Aborted. The guitar work is amazing. The drumming is just batshit crazy. It's bombastic, the blast beats. Of course, they incorporate more blackened metal elements on this. And yeah, it's just really technical and it's just a fun album overall. So yeah, Retrocore sits here. And finally, my favorite aborted album and it has not changed and a lot of people don't like that this is my favorite, but holy shit, this album is so damn good. It's one of the best albums, one of the best death, brutal death metal albums I've ever heard. Engineering the Dead, great songs to Roast and Grind, Nail Through O Cunt, Eructations of Carnal Artistry, Skullfuck Crescendo, and exhuming the infested, just great moments. Love the guitar work. Love how catchy some of these songs are, especially Engineering the Dead. Holy shit, what a fucking great song that is. And it's long as well. It's a long, proggy sort of song. So damn good. Great technical elements. And yeah, Aborted Engineering the Dead is my number one aborted album. So yeah, that was my aborted album ranking review. Hope you did enjoy it. Hope you did enjoy the actual album review as well. Let me know your favorite aborted albums. Do you agree, disagree with my ranking? Keep discussion going in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.